Welcome back to the designer vlog of the V baby. Yeah, it's been um, a bit of a while since the last vlog, but let's go through a couple of things I've been dealing with. This is what we, you guys are here for. So, I've been working on the C lift, the C design, and I have uh, prototyped something here, which uh, seems to run uh, very good. And um, we need to figure out how to how to place, uh, I mean, how to lift this thing. I do have this spring smart worm gear, which I'm very curious about and would like to implement because it's no printing, no parts, just drop in, sort of. Um, challenge, we have eight millimeter diameter here. So, um, yeah, and we need to transfer of course, from this to the belts in some way. So let me know. Give me ideas. You guys have given me a lot of ideas on how to solve things, and it's been helpful. So I appreciate any feedback in the comments. And um, yeah, made uh, some covers here. Um, and I also been ordering these plates which could be here and here uh, these are aluminum uh, stock open build uh, corner plates and uh, center plates so we have some corner plates as well these can go here which would lead to a less uh, less uh, printed parts and also a more rigid system because it's aluminium it's four millimeter aluminium um i think the holes are a little bit too big for my taste because i like things to be tight so we have some play there uh which yeah when we get the corner brackets on and so on, i don't think that's a big deal uh, but something to think about um i like also my my corner uh, my printed ones but uh, they are plastic so also have some new ones here which um, i think is better than these ones because if you don't have the best printer you will not be able to fit this onto your extrusion so these are more yeah versatile for all kind of printers to print and we don't really need you know these guys are have also underside top and uh, under support. Um, we don't really need that, so we could deal with these guys. So we could get rid of this part um, and place the corner corner plates. Place the corner plates like this is an option. Could probably buy. By placing these here, um, we could probably get an even more rigid um, top and bottom and bottom um, square. This can be in, on the underside or on the top side or on, or on both sides. Of course, up here you can only have it on the underside. These are like three bucks. Well, I mean, yeah, probably more like five bucks each. So it's also of course a price issue, so should we go with printed parts or aluminum? Um, can be of course different options in the boom for you to choose from. And this is early prototyping for the C-axis, I've been through a couple of iterations. I like it so far. Uh, we can place a bed, you know, some bed supports up top here and um, have the rest on these guys and we only gonna use one support at the front and two on the back or <laughs> vice versa, whatever you call front. I guess this might be the back at this point. Yeah, I'm confused myself. And other stuff I've been doing, I've been reinforcing this part is going to reinforce a little bit so this guy doesn't break. I've designed 
the motor brackets a little bit um, more bulky so they don't bend because they can bend a little bit we don't want that so those are actually printing now here are the new ones they should be more rigid and um, uh, also things that really take a long time is the uh, detailing detail designing like these air flaps or what do you want to call them these guys I'm gonna show you these guys you know, they were bigger before and I recognize by prototyping of course when we run the x-axis all the way back the airs did interfere with the corner brackets I could not see that in the cob because the brackets in my cob is not correct dimensional uh, in that area so using the 2028 corner brackets limited you know by changing these airs I, I think I changed it one millimeter or two smaller we actually get like five millimeter more of travel which is kind of important on this little baby so um, this is stuff uh, you uh, figure out when you prototype <laughs> and um, yeah we want to optimize everything so but it moves <laughs> moves like butter now <laughs> really really I'm, I'm looking forward to put some power into this uh, baby uh, so uh, yeah and then <laughs> the bring smart worm here so how to implement the lift should we lift on one side or should we lift on two sides uh, if you are lifting on one side probably you should lift on this side and not on that side I don't know let me know what you think again all feedback is good both positive and uh, not so good <laughs> so yeah anyway we are making progress and I'm very excited by this we also have some nice stuff going on here I'm gonna go bring um, a fan what we could do you know I made this fan shroud which is for the heat sink cooling the hot end and my plan is to utilize either a 40 10 fan or a 30 10 fan this is a 30 10 fan they are really really small uh, but they should do the job more than enough um, I'm thinking maybe a 40 10 fan up here though because we can get that in in high quality I'm not sure about the 30s these are of course eBay no Aliexpress stuff um, for the layer fan we don't need like huge fans but we can have it on the side like this we can have the layer fan like this something like this even uh, like up here and then the fan shroud down we can even have we can also have one on each side uh, or just one on the uh, one side and we'll touch on the other side um, so again feedback uh, it's important I would like for the hot end to be interchangeable it is right now because I attached this guy to that guy with screws so what we do is we take off I hope you're in focus we take off the heatsink then we can access the screws inside there and we can change it but of course it would be better to have the screws on the outside so we can just easily quick swap 
the whole thing and add something else like a laser cutter or another hot end, bigger nozzle, volcano, you know, whatever. These are all things I need feedback on. Um, I'm, I'm really happy for new subscribers out there. It's really uh, inspiring to to see that you want to have this content on the channel and uh, that you are enjoying the channel. So pre please subscribe, uh, guys.